This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. So I don't know if you know, but I'm I'm going to be in uh, Vancouver this weekend at the House of Comedy. In okay? Canada, yeah, but then but I'm is getting that to a Trudeau's, larger point. Trudeau's Canada. It is, but and enjoy Trudeau, that. But Trudeau's going to. I invited Trudeau. He's going to come, and when he gets to the door. I'm going to have him thrown in a flying headlock and then kick You're going to kick him kick, right in the I'm in gonna have him, Canadian small maple dick. I, I've heard he's got a piece on him, though. I hate that, to say it. Who told you this? I, I know some girls who have, have... My friend's sister dated him. I hate to tell you. I think he's got a piece on him. Nah. And he's a good-looking guy. Remember, he's probably Castro's son. Well, he's Castro's son. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So Castro was working. He probably you know has a Castro. wild streak in him. I got it. Oh, 100%. He probably has that wild streak, and he has to suppress it, so that's why he does yeah. like black face. He's probably, stuff. he's probably a secretly super right wing. He just, no, he, he's his, a communist. No, no, I know, no, I know. But more importantly, dude, <laughs> Jesus, I, have a, dude. I have a strategy Defending I want to do. Defending Trudeau is no, not, not the way I want no, to start No, I'm going to invite him and then kick him in the dick. I'm going to kick him in his... Medium dick, big dick, small dick, uh, and and have him. And if you come back from Vancouver next yeah. week, you're like, Matt Trudeau, dude, actually, really, he's one of us. I'm going to f*** you well, up. Well, you know what? The truth is with Trudeau, you and I are such such bitches that if we were hanging out with him, we'd ask him questions and stuff. But I, I guarantee if no, we were no, playing no. with him, he'd probably end up being a guy we'd be like, you know, he's not that bad. <laughs> I don't think so. Not that, that this stage of my life. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. I would love like Biden, to, Newsom, Trudeau. Like you put me on a plane with him, it's gonna, it's gonna go like conversation with my dad in politics. It's gonna be a disaster. Yeah, I I, I would agree. I disagree. I, I watch him in his. I watch him debate, and he never addresses. Newsom? He never address. Well, no, no. Uh, well, both Newsom and Trudeau never seem to address the actual question. Yeah, they don't address the, What's the politi- challenge. That's politicians, though. Yeah, but I I, I don't see him and in, in good faith actually engaging in a bit debate. Although Parliament is that way, and the, the Canadian Parliament is that way, right? But they don't really. They kind of shout back and forth at each other, and they just say, "Well, a Canadian American family is." You know, exactly. By the way, I'm not going uh, to anybody who's in Canada. Don't ban me for saying I'm going to kick him in. I would never actually kick him. I will. In the dawn. I will, and I don't care about yeah. going to Canada. No. Um, no, no, that forget Vancouver is great. The tickets are selling well. Get your tickets this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm very excited. It's been a long time since I've been in Canada. It's going to be great. Now, more importantly, dude, we have Austin, <clears throat> and I want to come up with some innovative ways to uh, you want to spitball some marketing let's ideas. Spitball some ideas. One thing we could do. How about we, we, we rename the Vulcan the Fathership? The Fathership is so genius, dude. That's a great idea. Boom. The Fathership. Boom. If Brandon, you couldn't get you're into welcome. the Mothership, come over to the Fathership. Fathership. Right? Presented to you by Fighter and the Kids. So we have in brackets, and we'll do it in gold mm-hmm. because people, your eye goes to gold. And then Rogan does like the whole alien vibe. We do. Hit me up. Stay with me here. I'm with you. We do like the whole like Astronaut? Egyptian. No, the whole. No, that's that's space is Rogan. Oh, stuff. space is Rogan. We stuff. go Egyptian. Right. Egyptian. Yeah, King Tut. King fucking Tut? You dress in brown face, and we put gold yes. on Yes, and then this controversial. And I'm already brown. Can I tell you one more thing? Oh, no, I think I'm we King take- Tut. I ride you because you look like a camel, right? Yeah, So yeah, I yeah. ride you like your baby old camel. <laughs> I look you like a camel? Find- yeah, you've got the same face as Jay-Z. Really? <laughs> Jay-Z? <laughs> you guys are the same kid, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, camel. so wait, so wait. Then, then what we should do is we should duct tape ourselves to the side of a truck and then with a sign that says, you guys stuck, you guys stuck in your life, unstuck yourself with some comedy. I don't know. I'm, I'm spitballing. Not good ideas. How about this? We airdrop a bunch of care packages to everybody in, ba- in, in what, Austin. What's in the care packages? Fucking like a, a Go knife. Go Brandon. A knife. Uh, Go a Brandon. Fire starter. Like, 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 uh, yep. like uh, no. No, like no, bumper no. stickers. Go Brandon. No, Come no. to Fire and the Kid. No, they're not going to like that. Oh, I bet they love it. No, you it. do. You do. Well, outside um, Austin. Yeah, a couple bumps, just a little, 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 a couple lines of blow, um, maybe some mushrooms, some weed, just drugs, uh, just drugs so people feel good. And then um, we could look into. I feel like the licensing on and the permits dropping drugs off to the masses might idea. be tough. That's it's also exp- we have to get a plane. Yeah, we. You got to think it through, Bubba. You got to get a plane. That's expensive, right? I think it's going to cost us a lot of money to advertise. My my idea is to, to we go broke advertising, but if we can fill that room, it's the satisfaction. It's the spiritual satisfaction. We Dude, get. just if you really want to sell tickets, just do an OnlyFans, get your big floppy cock out, yep. and just put Austin next Friday. Yep. And Two every one of my views. pictures is just me on my hands and knees, and I've just got my I, – I, I push my balls in my dick. I bulldog my bulldog? balls in the, I bulldog it right out the back. And I somehow, uh, we're gonna get a lot of gay dudes at the show, which is fine. 
I don't, I don't care. Hate, I don't hate They're on that. They're paying tickets. I don't care. It's all good. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll stand there with your shirt off and let every gay man in Austin Lick me. fucking work you with their hands. No, you Licking can't. is extra. Mm -mm. Licking is extra. That's the VIP? Yep. Dude, you had a little scared yesterday, huh? So we're oh, shooting yeah, Fire yeah. the Kid on a Tuesday. We just shoot on Mondays. Brian calls 9 a.m. We do the pot around noon. 9 a.m. You're like, baby's coming. Not going to make it. I didn't mind the day off. Huh? My wife wakes up and she goes, uh, I need you to clean your hands really well. <clears throat> and I was like, okay. And she goes, because I can feel the baby's head and I want to make sure you can. And so I'm like, oh, this was is. Was she calm or? Yeah, she's, my wife is so calm. Gangster. My wife is gangster. It doesn't matter. And so I'm like, all right, uh, this is, I'm not a doctor How here. far along is she though? Oh, she's uh, at 30th month. She's oh, so it's 36 weeks. Bubba. Oh, so it's not she's that early then? It. No. Oh, then no. we're good, baby. The baby would probably be three weeks early, maybe at this point, three and three and a half. So they're a little dicey when they come early. Oh, dicey is fine. And it's like so, turkey. You don't want to eat raw turkey. But she she was feeling like there was water somewhere, and I'm like, all right, that's your water. That uh, means her, her water broke. That means the amniotic sac broke, which right? Which is, it's, it's go time. Turns out that's not the case. Turns out the baby was just putting pressure on the old bladder, I guess. I don't know. Oh, she... she yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this works. You know, your body changes, but the baby shifted completely. So you know, when the baby's all cramped up, it's putting all this all this pressure on the nerves. Your your sciatic. The baby did like a somersault. This baby's a somersault. This baby is doing a handstand right now. This baby so is head first. He's head first. Oh, that's oh, yeah. good. At least he's head first. Yeah, she can feel feet, his feet first. His feet isn't good up here. Yeah. Right. That's what you want head first. But the the thing about women, what you don't realize when they're pregnant and the baby's this far along, if that baby stops moving for six they hours scared. they get scared they're like why is they the want to feel it like kick they want to see it do its yeah. thing so then my wife will do so stuff you were, like, you're at the hospital all day yesterday just from uh i was on my way here and my wife gangster that she is said i'm i'm just gonna drive to the to the hospital i go yeah but you might be crowning yeah so she goes that's nah, fine i go it's not fine i'll come and get you no no no, no don't do that do the do the podcast i'll let you know did like, she go, I don't want this baby delivered in a Tesla? Yeah. It, first right? of all, I'm like- We don't want this baby that, coming in a Tesla. There is that. Think about that. There is that. She just comes no out room. Day, automatically, hey. <laughs> just really? Yeah, dude. I didn't know that. Yeah. You deliver him in a, in a, in a, a, in a, a truck. He's like, are you ready? Really? In a Tesla, he's all, hey. I didn't know Yeah, that. dude. No, it's science. I didn't Look know that up. was yeah. science. Really? Yeah. It's something about the battery? Yep. Okay. He's like, don't name me yet. My pronouns are they, them. You're like, whoa, really? little dude. So it's a baby. Yes. I didn't fucking Enjoy that, dude. Go ahead, Damn, bro. go ahead and have a baby in a Tesla. Yeah, I got to see what that. happens. Yeah. I'm kind of tired of my little Tesla 3. It does make me feel you okay. like it. No, I'm just shocked to hear you're tired of it. Oh, I I've been why. beating him down. I'm like, oh. I'm like water on a rock, dude. I've been beating him down for years on his gayness. No, 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 did I you hear what he said? I want the why. Oh. Want it's the not why. that he wants oh. a different car. He just wants a different Tesla. Yeah. Oh, oh. he wants to upgrade. Yeah. Oh. Long story short, my my babies that she said no, they they were like they said get her back in the hours. oven. Not ready. Yeah, Lasagna's like, not well, ready. Well, they were, yet. they have to check for amniotic fluid. They were like that wasn't the baby is. So she's back in there. Yeah. Because you guys, uh, we haven't seen each other since we had my surprise birthday party. Yeah. Did a little surprise. Surprise, you guys surprised the hell out of me. Did, my fit, yeah. did you get surprised? I had no clue. Oh, good. I had no freaking clue. Good. Yeah, dude, we got to do that. I'm such a bonehead. You don't do that. You don't do that kind of stuff. No, never. You never My do wife that. put together, I had no clue. Yeah. Because I had to leave Tiger's baseball game early and I was like fighting with her. Yeah. We were up 10. Now, I wanted to invite Chin and I wanted to invite Snaz and I wanted to invite everybody, but your wife had very little room so chin you were you were the first person on our list to come really to the surprise birthday party yeah because <laughs> you're part of the family don't blame me chin i didn't no, 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 you're it. part of the family you were the first person i thought i went because we were trying to think and stuff and and uh and we we're like well what about i i was like we can't have a surprise party for you without having chin and probably sanaz but probably. definitely chin chin's been with us well, i've been with chin's them forever yeah chin's, chin's our forever. chin's our family and um but I think I think his wife. It was more about her family and and her friends. Mm -hmm. She was having that, and there yeah. was like just not a lot. There was like room. I realized really quickly for me uh, and and you and and Jan then, was there. What's that? Jan, Jan was there. Gave yeah, a great yeah. speech. Yeah, but if Jan's there, that guy should. Been I was there. always nervous. But I was actually out of town. I was in Arizona, so. That you should have said. So you just said, "Oh, Chin was out of town." Well, yeah. I knew that. Yeah, you, 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 we were just proud. Know you were the first person that, that I, on my I list. I love you both. Thank you very much. I yeah. appreciate that. But Jen, Jen, when uh, like anything like that, you're hey, dude, hey, there. he got it. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, he got it. Don't worry. You know. Yeah, but I, I want him to know. But uh, Jan got up in the middle of dinner and gave a speech. I love He's Jan. old school. He's seventy three. 
I don't know. And he's all ding, ding, ding. And I'm like, oh, this is so old school. Yeah. But his speech was good. His speech was great. His speech was good. Well, Jan, Jan is a, a guy, a New York dude. Brooklyn Jew. I, I love him. Brooklyn and Jew. Fighter. Yeah, tough. 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 Like a dude, like that guy, and loyal and tough and smart, smart. as shit. And all the things I like about when I, when you think about New York, you think about Jan. Who's that guy? Yeah, he's just one of those dudes, drag racer, boxer, does he's all that a shit. Bulldog, a bulldog, bulldog, bulldog. Him but and, a good him man. and legs together, bulldog. Fucking good man. We had some talks afterwards. Yeah, he's great, right? Love him. How good was that? Love that restaurant. I love, I love Lex, and I love. We've already talked about this. Yeah, Lex been with me eighteen years, dude. Like a real fucking, you know, like those expressions, a real fucking marine. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he is. Yeah. Um, um, but how good that restaurant's great, right? It's like an old school steakhouse. Oh, dude, old school steakhouse and good steak, right? Isn't right, that good, good, good food. Like I was, I was waiting for everything to be like. My wife was like, "This is fucking great." She got the salmon. She had the salmon. She was like, she kept going. This is good. I go, hey, I get it. It's really good, but it was. Do you remember the name? It's my favorite restaurant. Monty's. Monty's. That's right. Monty's. I was about to say Monty's Mar Steakhouse. I was gonna call it Marty's. On Monty's, it's Monty's, Monty's, Monty's but it's old school. On um, on Topanga. Topanga. Yeah, guys, real quick. So guys, sometimes, you know, life gets crazy and stress gets kind of nutty and, you know, you can practice, I guess, doing um, meditation, which you should and all that stuff. But I think sometimes if you want to get to sleep or you want to calm down, there are other things you can do. Five daily, daily buzz gummies are one of those things. Let me tell you what they do. First of all, you can get a free $40 bottle of five daily buzz gummies. You just got to pay shipping and handling, but it's got the buzz gummies and they come from oh, with all different, really good flavors. They come in two to five milligrams of THC and that's enough for you to feel it. Um, and the reason they're called buzz daily, daily buzz gummies is because it's enough to give you a daily buzz. Okay. And they're fully legal and they ship to 50 States and they're third lab tested, third party lab tested, which is important for purity and all the other things. And it's grown in the USA. So you can go to 5cbd.com slash fighter, 5cbd.com slash fighter. Get your free $40 bottle. Uh, just pay shipping and handling. And uh, tell us what you think. All right? That's F-I-V-E-C-B-D.com forward slash fighter. Fighter and the Kid is sponsored by DraftKings. Stay tuned because you'll hear more about DraftKings and all it has to offer throughout the show. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, friend. With an upside down truck. Happy, Happy birthday <laughs> to <laughs> you. That's hilarious. Thanks, guys. Dude. We couldn't find a, a tan colored. Damn. Whoa, don't the mic. Sanaz, well done. That's hilarious. Happy birthday. Sanaz killing it. <laughs> So now it's killing it with an upside down truck. Hey, can you wait? Sorry, I, I just realized. <laughs> hey, bro, you're 57. I know. Oops. <laughs> That's such a cool idea, though, by Sanaz. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I can't see that. It's hard to. Oh, is it? Mm, sorry. There. Oh, Who made these? Bite. Sanaz, did you make these? Yes, you did. <laughs> They're store bought? Shin, where'd you get these? At a gas station? <laughs> Brian, you're so freaking good at this stuff. I swear to God. You got it at the gas station? No, 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 not a gas station. But you know, no, hold on. Where'd you get it? Hey, dude, just okay. enjoy it. But, hold on. I want to say what happened. Yeah, she'll tell you. We originally oh, no. had ordered sprinkled Shin cupcakes. Brian put his bag. Just, no, I'll no, tell no. you. We originally ordered Susie cakes, yep. but then yesterday with everything kind of flipping, I had to call them and be like, hey, you know, we have to put the order on hold. And then I tried to get them this morning, but they don't open till 11. So Chin is like, can you go to a 7-Eleven? And I'm like, 7-Eleven? Chin? That's what you think of me, Chin. No, dude. this is why you didn't come to the birthday. Emergency. This is an emergency. <laughs> we need to get something this, over here. You got coffee. That's not a 7-Eleven. That's sure Albertsons, okay? Oh, Albertsons. Oh, Albertsons is nice. Yeah, I grew up on Albertsons. Albertsons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. As long as it's not a gas station. I'll they make them there. Hmm? I make them there. Sometimes they do. Albertson? Every now and then. Yeah. You know how you make icing? Do you have any idea? If you had to make icing. Uh, what do you think goes in icing? It's, uh, what is it, powdered sugar? Uh huh. What else? It has to be some sort it's of liquid, right? 
Yeah, I didn't know. Heavy cream? I didn't know. Heavy cream? It's butter. I butter. didn't know that. Yeah. You mix butter and, and... Eat one, Brian. It's okay, buddy. I, <laughs> I, uh... What if I told you it was not from Albert? If you if you, nice you would have said these are from Erwan, he'd be like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he'd be all over. Well, He's you can try it first to see. You know that I it's got to be good. You know it's I just cook chocolate now. and icing. <laughs> I'm a chef. Okay. You? you should see the bread I made. Bread. Bring it here. I'm gonna send it to you, Chin. All right. Bring it up. Fucking bread's no joke. No. Is it good bread or no? Yeah, it's not. I'm mean, listen. I grew up on Albertson, so right, you know yeah. it's not going to blow your hair back, but it, I like it. It, it was emergency. When we couldn't get the ones in time, so what can you do? Be honest, I prefer this. All right, there you go. Okay. I'm not yeah. Brian. I'm and not. And it's your you. birthday, so that's a, that's what matters. Yeah, fuck you, dog. Uh, I've taken to. Uh, I'm a chef. I like to cook. Let me tell you something right now. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna entertain this right now. I'm gonna Why? entertain this because dude, no, wait, hold wait. on, hold on. You're into trucks no, hold on. and fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know, so I don't talk about it here. No, but because you zone out. That's no. fine because you're a gay no. man. But listen, <laughs> listen. You drive a Tesla and you cook bread. <laughs> Just come out of the fucking closet. I, look, is it sourdough? You? It, it is. Huh? <laughs> is it sourdough? <laughs> that's a derogatory. No, that's, is it? <laughs> look, wait. That's sourdough. Look at my. Let loaf. me tell you right now. Let me hold on, hold on, Jim. Before you play this, <laughs> let me tell you something right now. Yeah. There is nothing I'm least interested in what, than, than the weather. Right. Hold on, hear me out here. Yeah, yeah. The weather, yeah. your diet, yeah. workouts, right. and what the fuck you cook at home. But but it's No, a, no, hold on. A, I want our friendship to be very clear. Because my dad calls me and talks to me about cooking. And it he, ruffles my feathers. He, he cooks? When, sure. Listen, we all do. When I say I don't give a fuck But what look you at cook, my work of art. Go yeah. ahead, Jim, play the yeast, that. The yeast. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. I, yeah, I'll tell you how I do it. Um, this no, I know you cook bread. Look at that. So yummy. That's my wife. I said, take it out of the oven now. Taking it out like. Bro. I mean, it's sooner, but. Bro. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's ready? How'd it taste? Ah, oh, so bready. <laughs> so bready. Only three ingredients. But if yeast, you do it right, yep. Honey, you, you got to bloom the yeast. Yeast, yeah, warm water. Like yeah. The, 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 starter, the, the starter and all that. People get crazy. There are like a whole Tom subculture. Papa has like a business about it. He went on Rogan talked about bread for three hours. Dude, there's a whole subculture around it. I make egg noodles now too. I make my own pasta. Just getting older, bro. Yeah. That's what this is. But I, now I need a farm. I'm going to start growing some shit. I was asleep by 8.30 on my birthday. God, that's amazing. Woke up at three. Yeah. Woke up at three. Worked out at five. Wow. It's good though. Yeah, I like it. Morning person. I'm morning bird. Me too now. Morning bird. Now I am. Are I wake you? up before anybody else. Make my coffee. Grind it up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm clean now too. It's weird. I what, clean, what, I you clean got off the, the math or what? Huh? You, what? You're clean like you got, you're done with math? <laughs> no, or? dude. I'm saying I, I clean. I like a clean house. I used to be. I know. Hold on. Let's just. Okay, am I boring everybody? No, no, not at all. Let's just go over what you're into right now. I'm not saying you like cock, but tell me you like cock without telling me you like cock. <laughs> Let's just go over this. Yeah. You drive a Tesla. That's a huge red flag. It's a three. But it's I can get by. Small one, small one. My, my, white white. my boy Bird drives a Tesla. Right, but it's He's a, a small man. one, small one. Small white and white. white, white and tear. White on white, yeah. The gayest car the in the world. The gayest car in the world. All good. Okay. That I'm like. I get a pass. I'm like, he's not gay. That's my boy, right? Yeah, that, I'm like, he's not, he's not yeah, boy. Yeah, right? That's right. He's not gay. That's my boy. Yeah. And then. Yeah. You're into cooking. I'm into cooking. Bread. I, I bake bread. I roll it out. I let it sit. I, you know, I've got my kitchen things. Hold on. So let's just, and again, maybe I'm off. No, no, maybe, you might be. May, hey, may, maybe, maybe these stereotypes are just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stereo, the, People say stereotypes exist for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm just off on maybe, this. Maybe, maybe. You drive a white Tesla, smaller yeah. one, right? Smaller, smaller, smaller one, one smaller right? One. For chicks, for chicks. Smaller. For chicks, which is fine. Yeah. yeah. My daughter wants it. Yep. You my cook. Daughter, my daughter covets it. Well, She's of course. 16, of course. Almost. So you drive the white Tesla, the small one, white on white. Yeah. You yeah. cook bread and noodles now. Yeah, I make my own pasta. Yep, roll and then it out. You, yep, sure. Yeah, yeah, and then you clean. I, I, hey, I, and I have hold on. Yeah, I have, I have different natural ways to sure. clean. You chick. <laughs> Be cool, bro. I am I, cool. No, no, you no, no. chick. <laughs> no, but I. I still you work put, out. Put some rouge on and suck me <laughs> off if you are after all these years. No. Put some rouge on. No. Bake me some goddamn bread. No. Drive over in the middle of the night in your quiet, stupid car and, and then suck clean it. my house and suck me off. 
Because that's the road you're headed down, so you bud. Want, so wait. You, that's where you're headed. So that's you're how saying, your movie ends. You're saying to your friend, you want me in an apron, bacon bread, so you come down with a fresh scent of bread. House better be spick and span. Spotless. Spick. You don't want my Tesla anywhere near your truck because you don't you want your truck to the road. You park down the road. I got to park on the road. I don't want people to know that's on my Can property. Can I wear shoes in the kitchen? No, dude. No. And, and no undies either. No Just undies. apron, ass out. And so then you want, after your, you want me to cut some bread, butter it up for you, and then and while I'm you're eating up that bread, peach. so now I got to butter up your peach. And no, I'm butter up your peach. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait. Peach, aka. You're kind of attracted to me now that I'm talking this way. No, uh, this is the road you're headed down. I'm just helping you get there. Okay, but don't get you know crumbs when, when on you, my lower you know back. You can when tell, you're like, you know when you can tell, like your buddy's confused and you're like, no, dude. Like you know, with Cody, we're like, dude, you're you're a teacher. Like yeah, you should yeah, be yeah. teaching. Yeah. Like with you, it's like, no, dude, you should be getting fucked by guy. <laughs> That's my true calling? Yes. So you're saying- And it's in your face, but you can't see it. And but you would, all of us see it. Like yeah, Sanaz came in and was like, is Brian coming out today? I'm like, I don't, I hope. But you wouldn't be disrespectful about it. Like you wouldn't be eating bread and getting crumbs on my lower back while you're- Oh yeah. You would? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're here with like, a, you're here with like, he has dandruff, bro. <laughs> Dude, you just, and then, and then, and then when it falls off, would you make me clean it up? Oh yeah. That's your job. After you're done, you go, yeah. Hey, clean up the crumbs. Hey, you 50 housewife. That's so you disrespectful. You're 1950s housewife. Dude, that's disrespectful. And then you, oh, and then you talk back to daddy? Yeah. Well, now I got to treat you like a man. What? Because now I'm going to punch you in the face. You, okay. As long as you don't take a flat hand and paintbrush Well, I'll me. start with the paintbrush. You're going to paintbrush my face? Slowly go into the mallet, right? <laughs> 50 housewife. So, so wait, so the mallet comes out if I don't learn my lesson after the paintbrush. Yep, not going to so tell you, you go, twice. You go paintbrush, and then if I'm still sassy, you, you go mallet. Mallet. Bro. Wall, you have sourdough crumbs on your head. Like on dandruff. my head. And they, I better not get those on the rug. Nope, because then I'm, then I'm, then I'm going to antique you. What does antique mean? I'm going to take that flour that you're cooking the bread, yeah. and I'm going to dip my hand in it, and then fucking antique you in the face. So your face is all white, like an antique. Oh, I look like a fucking antique. Yeah, like an, an like antique. Yeah, like, you, you, you make me even older. Yeah, white. Is that face. gray hair or just flower in your hair? White face. God, I have such a boner thinking about. That. I mean, I'm so <laughs> mad about this. I'm so mad about this. This is outrageous, dude. It's happening. I know what's happening is I've I've I'm screaming out of the closet. Yeah, I mean, it's in. There's so many God, signs. So I, I but I'm still kid. taking jujitsu. Look at Caitlyn Jenner, dude. But Came I'm out late. I'm taking an MMA class. No, I know. Yeah, I, I train still. Like I do, you know. You're how you're fifty seven or fifty six? Fifty seven. You're the same age as Mike Tyson. I'm the same age as Mike Tyson. And he's fighting a twenty seven year old. Yeah, I will say that if you train hard and if I was on like I, I move pretty well still. Sure. Yeah. You don't move like a twenty seven year old. I'm slow. Yes. I used to be that's the thing that goes. Speed. Speed. I think I'm fast. And then I see video and I go, oh. <gasps> no, first thing that goes is speed. It's so at interesting. Days. The first thing that goes feel, speed and but coordination. But you feel the same speed. I know. Well, because you, you don't know. You yeah. don't know any different. No. First thing to go is speed. You know, I, I tell you what, I move well for a 57 year old. For a 50. The, the main thing you feel is you don't recover. Like you're sore. You don't recover, and then also, but the hand eye coordination, the speed's the first thing oh to go. God, so, yeah. like with Tyson, and it worked on Chain, it works on my dad. He posts videos, him and Mitz, and he goes, oh my God, this guy's an animal. Reeve and Rogan, this guy's an animal. He was posting those same clips before he fought Roy Jones. Yeah. Did that look similar to you? Yeah. You, again, he's 57. If this is any other sport, any other sport, yeah. say Troy Aikman came back at 57, bad, started bad, for bad the Dallas Cowboys. Bad situation. Everyone's like, dude, at 57, he can fucking throw, dude. Look at him in practice. So I was thinking about this. I was watching him hit Mitz, and as you know more than anybody, hitting mitts and fighting are so different like it's you know it's no just, one's hitting back nobody's hitting back and um and you know where the mitts at you yeah. know where the mitts at and i was thinking about that and i was like watching him and i thought to myself first of all when you're 57 going into the sixth seventh and eighth round that gets re your your endurance goes the, well the, that, that's the thing your speed your quickness your hand-eye coordination yep. your footwork yep and then your your endurance all those things yep. all go together at the same yes. time and also your ability to Eat shot. React. Yeah, and react. just react. Yeah, react. Your hands right. are not fast. You think your hands are fast. You're not close to it. And a 27-year-old is going to get off on you. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing I worry about. And that, that's why people are like, oh, Tyson's going to kill Jake. Well, that's insane. Well, no, because Jake hits really hard. He's, he's way faster and he's 30 years younger. Correct. And what happens is if Tyson, I guess he could peekaboo and he's good at, you know, keeping himself up. But if uh -huh. you get caught, I know. Because you have to open up to hit. Yep. So, what do you think? Do you think I, he gets Jake knocked should, out? I mean, uh, I, uh, 
my pre- my predictions are based off this is a real fight. It's ten rounds. You ten think ounce it is gloves, a real fight. twelve ounce gloves. I I'm assuming ten ounce. Ten, ten or twelve. That's the plan. Ten or twelve. Wow. Because they fight in ten, right? That's the usual boxing. I gloves. thought they fought in uh, twelve or fourteen. No, ten. 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 Really? Yeah. Ten ounce gloves. People don't. I, the ten ounce gloves hurt. They that no, is, boxing gloves are no different than everyone oh thinks MMA is so brutal at four ounces. No. no, no, ten ounce gloves spread over like a George Foreman oh, or like dude. a Francis and oh fist. It's so thin. You, you, it just covers the rack. Getting hit and with you, the, there's no eye pokes. I see that house, but it's the same shit. Yeah, sixteen. Ounce. And it's a club. Like yeah. the way they wrap the hands under those gloves, oh. they're weapons. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's actually worse for the head. Yes. Eighteen ounce gloves and headgear. Who says this? This is from GiveMeSport.com. 18 ounce glove. I don't think that's confirmed. If it's 18 ounce glove and headgear, I'm not betting on it. This is a bullshit fight. They're not going to do that on Netflix. There's no way. There's no way they have well, headgear. It's a, it's a, it's a, it, it's a, if it's a pro bout, it, they, which is they, what they're trying to do. They, pro bout, you can't no do head, that. There's no headgear. No. So it, if it's an exhibition. I don't think different. that's confirmed, Sana. No. That's probably just the, a rumor. Well, that, that says uh, official? It says. Derek th- Chinoza even declared he knew for a fact that Tyson and Paul are using 18 ounce gloves and headgear. So here's the thing you gotta realize about boxing, it's the dirtiest sport in the world. Mm-hmm. So when a fight is announced, like think about all the mayhem that went on with Francis and, and Tyson Fury, all this yeah. fake news. These legit sources and outlets come out and try to bring the views down. They try to bring the hype down. So that's probably what's going on here. Because mm. if Netflix comes out and goes, hey, for our first fight ever, which can be the most watched fight of all time, hands down, it's just science. It's 20, 227 million subscribers, it's free. If they get 10 million, it's the biggest. If they get 6 million, it's the big, most watched fight ever, right? So they're going to break that. But if they come out and go, but it's in 15 ounce gloves and headgear, people are like, this is bullshit. Even, even, even the casuals can be like, oh, this is trash. 100%. So I doubt they do that. Mm. Now, the thing about Tyson is he's still such a good, educated boxer in terms of when he throws, where to put his head, and all that. But it's just like it's you're do- dealing with a no odds are against him. But he's just, he's he was fighting a twenty seven year old man. My only thing is what kind of shenanigans going on behind the scenes between him and right. Jake? What like, what's think? the agreement? Because with Roy Jones, we found out the agreement after is no no headshots, only to the body. So amazing! What? So amazing! And think about it, that fight didn't I have love headgear. It. That fight I didn't have head. For them, they're like, I don't want to get hit in the head. Like yeah, this. but just do it in your gym and put it on YouTube. Right. Don't force me to pay for it if you're right. going to do that bullshit. What do you don't think? mark it as well, a legit fight. What do you think? I think it's it's got to be a real thing. I would assume or the blowbacks would be insane. Yeah, because, I mean, he fought Anderson Silva for real. Correct. You know? And again, what happened? Anderson Silva, as great as he is, is older, didn't have his hands up. You don't realize that until you get hit. Mm-hmm. We'll see. But yeah, I, I wouldn't make any... I mean, if it's a legit fight, yeah, Jake should beat him. Is she going when, is, when is Jake going to fight? I guess this is such a smart deal, though, because is, is, it, it, like, if Jake's serious about boxing, then he would. when is he going to take on somebody his age who's an actual boxer? Besides, the last guy he fought wasn't really, apparently... I mean, Tommy Fury's his age and yeah, that was, that was boxer. Yeah. He's done that. Yeah. My question with that... But I think this is the So everyone fight. says that. Why? Oh, well, I, I, I don't see. Because remember, any, it's so, I don't see any reason to. No, unless he's taking. He keeps saying he wants to be a real boxer. I know, but he's looking for validation from a box community that's never going to give it to him. So, yeah. if I'm Jake's management, wh- why do you I, care? I it's never is, coming. I think this is genius. Because the overall idea of fighting, whether it's MMA, UFC, uh, Ryzen, one right. championship, Bellator, one cha- you know, uh, PFL, <laughs> uh, legit boxing, the it's all under the same umbrella: prize fighting. Right. How can I get the biggest prize? Yep. That's what Jake's doing. Yep. Mike Tyson's the biggest prize. You want the most, and Chael said this, you want the most famous guy possible, the easiest fight. Yep. God is, by the way, also Jake Paul, I guarantee Mike Tyson's heart's going to be beaten if it's a real fight. Because Jake's big. Jake's big and young. He's, what, yeah. is he 200 pounds? And he hits really hard? Uh, he walks out like 190. Uh, he, I wouldn't say he's a big guy, but, you know, Mike's thick. Yeah, Mike's bigger. Mike's, there. Mike's bigger yeah, Mike's than Jake. There. Yeah. What is he? One two hundred pounds. Yeah, that's that's a lot. So. It's a big boy. And all muscle. Young. Hmm. Oh, look at that though. They got down to eighty. They suck. Because they have to, you know, cut weight to, to make that weight hmm. class. Hmm. One eighty three. Yeah, but it's a legit fight to be. 
If it comes out that it's headgear and 15 ounce gloves, that fight's going to eat 18 ounce gloves. Oh my God. Why waste our time? Netflix is going to be furious. Yeah. Interesting. So you, if you had to bet, you'd put your money on? On Jake, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not betting on a 57 year old. But again, I'm not betting on this fight because I don't know the shenanigans going on behind the scenes. Right. Boxing has so many shenanigans. That's, the, what's, that's, that's what's wrong with the sport. It's corrupt as shit. Yeah. Like, you know what they did to Francis when he's fighting Anthony Joshua? Because clearly they want Anthony Joshua to win. He got to the arena, I think, three hours earlier than Anthony Joshua. When they, whenever they had promotion, he would get there two hours for Anthony Joshua. That's just all a mind fuck to drain your energy. Mm -hmm. The exact same thing happened when I fought Noguera. He knows all the guys, the security, all the officials that work the stadium in Rio de Janeiro. So I get there three hours before Noguera, and you're naive to it. You're this young, bushy-eyed kid just looking for a fight. We get there three hours early. Your emotions going up, down, up, down. By the time you warm up and get to the fight, you're exhausted because you just your your anxiety and it being in the arena that long, your your energy's just spent. 100%. They do it on purpose. They yeah. did it to Francis. Yeah, Francis, like, why was I there so early? Mm -hmm. I see him walk in. And he walks in two, three hours after me. And he's like, what the hell are they doing? His coach told him they're doing it on purpose to drain your energy, conserve your energy. You can't. You can't. Your anxiety's through the roof being back there in the locker room. Oh, You're trying to warm up. You're trying to relax. But it's exhausting. So, guys, Mint Mobile is um, a pretty amazing service. All right? Uh, you ever thought about why your wireless bill is so high? Why it's so expensive? Okay? I mean, it's just radio waves. And how much can radio waves really cost? All right? But Big Wireless got together and decided $100 a month. You know? They, they just set a price. Because they knew that we'd pay it. What choice do we have, right? Well, guess what? Mint Mobile comes along. You do have a choice now. For a limited time, phone plans from Mint Bo Mobile are $15 a month. I'm going to say it again. I didn't say 50. I said 15, one five dollars a month when you purchase a three-month plan. And that's unlimited talk, text, and data for $15 a month. All right? So no more of this overpriced wireless stuff. Mint Mobile is here to rescue with premium wireless plans starting at $15 a month. I'm going to be honest with you guys. As I read this and I think about this, I'm literally saying to myself, because I got another phone, I'm saying to myself, why in the world am I not using Mint Mobile? I got to jump on this right now. I'm going to. All, because all plans come with high-speed data, unlimited talks and te talk and text, and it's, it's delivered on the nation's largest 5G network, the largest 5G network. So you can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. How about that? You don't even have to change your phone number. So ditch overpriced wireless with Mint Mobile's limited time deal and get three months of premium wireless service for 15 bucks a month to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just $15 a month. Go to mintmobile.com slash fighter. That's mintmobile.com slash fighter. Cut your wireless bill, bill to $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash fighter. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes on an un unlimited plan. Additional taxes and fees and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. O'Reilly Auto Parts. All right. If you are looking for auto parts, if you're looking for wiper blades, if you need a brake light -like fix or a quick service, they'll help you find the right part or point you to the nearest local repair shop for help. Whether you're a car aficionado like Brennan or an auto novice, like myself, you will find the employees at Auto O'Reilly Auto Parts. They are knowledgeable, they're helpful, and best of all, friendly, okay? The professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts are your one-stop shop for all things auto, do it yourself, and you can find what you need in-store or online. They have the loaner tool program. You pay a refundable deposit and borrow the right tool if you want to do that. If you don't have tools, they've got that. You get the deposit right back when you, when you return it. The professional parts people at O'Reilly Parts Auto Parts are your one-stop shop for all things auto do-it-yourself. You can find what you need in the store, online. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts today. Visit O'ReillyAuto.com slash fighter. That's O'Reilly.com slash fighter. O'ReillyAuto.com slash fighter. What's this? 
Oh, it's just the most recent one I saw. But, but same thing with. I know for a fact they're using eighteen ounce gloves and head guards. Gear, but that's guard. Derek Chisora, who's a boxer, so maybe he has. Like you can't third. trust him. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't know. Remember that. Remember, Jake Paul is the antichrist. They hate Jake Paul, so they're doing whatever they can to diminish the product. Yeah. This dude wishes he was fighting Jake Paul. So there you go. Yeah, that that's all they want. That's yeah. all. They, so they hate on it because they want Jake Paul out of there. It's not happening. He's making more money than all these guys. Look, man, it's it's entertaining as shit, right? So. Yep, that's pretty much. It. I don't know if I trust that <laughs> site too. Like you look at it, it's like Tyson Fury calls out Conor McGregor. Um, uh, the other one is you know. Tyson Fury's coach says he may, might never fight again. Like, it's all clickbait shit. Yeah, these are, like, equivalent to, like, the mirror, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, tabloids. But sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. Yeah, it's usually trash. But it, No, but if there. their quote's coming from Derek Jasura, who's a boxer, who is not going to be fighting in this fight, of course, you would see, like, why he would want to, like, you know, crush this a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is gonna be an ongoing thing. You'll see mm -hmm. people hating on it nonstop. You just gotta fight through the bullshit. You just gotta sh shuffle through it and figure it out. People are still gonna watch. I'm excited. I'll definitely be watching. And that's in June, right? I don't know if it's that much of a win-win for Jake. Money-wise, it is. But again, like, you, you got, it's prize fighting. But it's it's He's gonna, it's gonna be the most watched fight ever. Remember, right, and you knock out you knock out a fifty-seven year old, yep. right? And then and then it's the most watched fight ever. You gain more eyeballs. Uh, your fame goes more. Okay, up. remember the his These fan base have rides a weird with way of doing things. his fan base I rides don't know. with him. Yeah, you you knock out a national treasure, and that's a, I still think it's a gamble. I really do. I think because what happens is it's high, borderline disrespectful, yeah. right? No, because Mike Tyson's taking the fight. He's the one yeah. that's asking for it. So let's talk about what happens. So he knocks out the icon, Mike Tyson. Knocks yeah. him out cold, 57-year-old. Name a single boxer that doesn't look up to Mike Tyson. Imagine the massive names that are going to come after Jake Paul now. Everyone's going to want his head. Yeah. Everyone. So what's that equal? More money. Yeah. More fame. You're, you're, and he's going to be you're, the heel. Yeah. He loves you're being the, the heel. You're the heel. Yeah, okay. So more fame, bigger fights. Netflix is going to be the most watched fight ever. They signed a three-fight deal. Probably a, uh, who knows? They're probably out from two hundred million, three hundred million dollars. What's just, the downside? Just people want to see him get his ass And what's the downside? Because he's gonna have haters. Mm. Yeah. Sign me the fuck up, daddy. <laughs> three hundred mil. I don't know. I don't know. Name a downside. Still feels like a. It still feels like a gamble. I think you can get enough people to actually hate on you. You just got to be careful with that. You've got to be. I, you've got to be. When you're dealing with a national treasure, right, with a guy like Mike Tyson, who's 57, it's just you knock him out, right? Um, what if he wins by decision? That's what I would bet on, Jake by decision. Then, then, then I'm, then I'm, then I'm in. Like then, it's interesting. I just but if he think does his job, the, you think? Yeah, I, be I do. I think. I think. I just wonder. I wonder what that. Sometimes these things take a while. I don't know. I think you risk having your brand. See, right now, for me, I like Jake Paul because I think what he's doing is really hard. I don't think people understand how hard it is to be a boxer. Like, he's this, this guy is in the ring sparring and getting better as a boxer, okay? And fighting. Look, you can say whatever you want, but Anderson Silva was a, was a legit box. I mean, a legit fighter. You, you, he beat you know, Julio um, Chavez Jr. before he, that. You guys thank 50 you. and 3. And then on top of that, you know, Tommy Fury's, you know, Tommy Fury trains in earnest. He's a, you know, Tommy big Fury's guy. Tommy Fury, but yeah. yeah. But still. But but he's in the ring and he's getting better and he took it very seriously. In three years, he's done a, um, an amazing job. Um, <clears throat> so all of that stuff is is to me impressive. It just is. I've never hated on Jake Paul, ever. Okay. I think that, that when you got a guy who is this old and remember it's Mike Tyson and, though. I know. And if you're gonna knock him out, there's a I would say just make sure you don't gloat over that. Because if you gloat over no, that, you wouldn't do that. Yeah. I think I think that's how you handle it is important. Be respectful. Yeah, he always is. Even with yeah. Nate, he's respectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. By the way, that's another guy who fought. Nate Nate Diaz. He beat Nate Diaz. Yeah. I mean so and that's that's not Nate is not small. No, Nate is not I, small. I don't and think Nate there's any not, downside yeah. for Jake here. 
Yeah, I don't see any down. Especially his. Remember the younger fan base. They don't. They don't. These care. guys are savages. Yeah. That's his fan base. That's why he carries such a massive following. Look, it's intriguing. I, I, I but having no, no, uh, knowing enough about age, I think what you're going to see is that that stuff when Mike's hitting nits and stuff like that. And okay, it's great. He still has the power to knock you out. Still has the power to hurt you in the body for sure if he, if he gets a shot off. But you just t father time is father time. Yeah. Father time is father time. We'll watch it though. We're talking about it. most yeah. watched fight ever. Yeah. Well, it's free. Let it's that, on let that soak you can in. Bet your ass, I'm going to watch it. Let that soak in. I mean, it's not free because you have to have a Netflix. So you don't think it's a risk at all to no. his brand? No, no, God, no. Builds his brand. I mean, then again, Vitor Belfort knocked out Vander Holyfield. We're not. It is what it is. Knocked him out in the but first Vitor's round. But Vitor's old too. Yeah. That doesn't make sense, dude. That's true. That's not a comparison. How old? How old is Vitor? Fuck, has 40s? to be damn near fifty. No, yeah, he might be. Yeah, for, late forties. He might be above. Wow. He's my age. Forty fucking six. Forty six and fifty, no, you know we don't care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he's sixty one. Damn, <laughs> looks, fa looks fantastic. But, but forty seven, sixty one. That is no that one, him no, right there? Is that him at sixty one? No, I don't but know. no, absolutely not. But um, forty seven, sixty. No, no one. That's not. No one's going to bat an eye at that. Twenty seven, fifty seven. The age that's massive 30, gap. 30 one, years. One's in their prime, one's completely out of their prime. Yeah. But do you think there's brackets though if you're younger, like to forty seven versus like forty seven to sixty seven that kind of stuff? The older it is, the worse it is for the older dude. Yeah, no shit, dude. But older I mean that's what you're saying. <laughs> you're like it's not a big of a difference. No, for forty forty seven sixty one's not a big deal. Where people are like, Oh my god, this is insane. How could they sanction this? But 27 to, let, let's say he was fighting Evander, like 27 to 60, 61, then it's like. I thought you were comparing from Jake Paul to Mike but, Tyson. But then also, it's, it's also, it's Mike Tyson. So anyone my age or even your age views Mike as like this god, mm. you know? So it's like, he can do it. Everyone, we all have that. It's like, oh, it's Mike Tyson though. Yeah. That's the point, though, right, B? Like, he's like... It's not reality. Right, it's no, not it's reality. It's the but, same uh, thing with Francis and Anthony Joshua. Yeah. It's not yeah. reality. Yeah. Like, Fury yeah. and Francis, I love Francis. What he did is unbelievable. They'll make movies about him. But that's not reality. Reality is what happened when he fought Anthony Joshua. That's, right. that's how the world works. That's right. That's how it should work every single time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mike Tyson being Jake Paul, if it's a legit fight, that's not reality. We all live in this false oh my god he's this the the face of boxing he was so scary yes 30 years ago. 30 years yeah. ago yeah 30 years ago so different. and you also get this narrative he's the best he's the greatest of all time he's not no. he never was no. we were sold on that yeah but when you go it's very black and when you go through his record he's not maybe uh, there's arguing for top five i've maybe six or seven when you break down records but as a kid i thought he was the baddest man of all time mm-hmm then you get older, you're a little more educated on boxing. Like, oh, no. Uh, it's like Bruce Lee. It's like the same thing people think Bruce Lee. I was never on that people. kick. No. I respect well, him. Maybe because you were just so big or something? Or you just no. sports? No. I'm, you watch I'm Bruce not Lee and people used to think he was uh, like, <laughs> he never fought in a ring. Like, Bruce Lee was not, you know, you watch him, he does basic, he's doing hook kicks, Taekwondo is the sound effect. Nobody had ever seen that. Speed, but, you know, he's, I think he was, Five, how tall was he? Five, seven, one, five, three, six, one thirty. Yeah, but he, but he, you know, also, he, what he, he did was insane. Like he's, you know, yeah. That's I mean. What he did was absolutely insane. So do you know I mean, he's legend. not one hundred percent Chinese? I didn't realize that. He's half Chinese, half white. Yeah, I thought he was mixed. Yes. Hey, hey. What? Hey. We know oh. we can claim him. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea, but he was. I don't know if he's half. Or I don't think he's half. Percentage, like a percentage. I, I don't think he's half. <laughs> it's Wikipedia. Let's let's look yeah. that up. Because his mama is full blown Chinese, and the, the, his dad was not a white man. Oh, his father was not a Cantonese. Opposite. His mother came from one of them. Eurasian families. Eurasian families. Huh. Hmm. Let's see. I'm uh, sorry. So what the fuck is he? <laughs> so he grew up with money. His mom, the British colony's yeah. wealthiest, most famous Eurasian family. So he grew up with money. Yeah. Not that that matters. It's, it's you know. No, to Cantonese opera singer. His father. Wow. 
Wow. Type in uh, his dad. Yeah, let's. Bruce Lee's dad. Lee Ho Chong. You could tell his mom is definitely. Oh, yeah, his mom is definitely. Yeah. So right, he, look he, up, he, he's not half B. He's look not up, half. Look at Bruce Lee's mother. He's maybe 25%. I think he's more than that. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. There's his mom. Grace Ho. Her she's like a, yeah, she looks like part Asian, part white. She's 100% white, dude. <laughs> definitely not. Her name's Grace Ho. Uh, hold on. Grace Ho was the mother of Bruce Lee. She and her husband, Lee Ho Chong, were the parents of Bruce as well as. Yeah, but let me see what her. It was the mother. She was born in Shanghai, China, Brian, in 1907. <laughs> yeah, but she's British. No, she's she had, not. She had they British moved there. Look, look. Uh, mixed race. Yeah, so she's so Bruce Lee is, you know, holy not, shit, not half and half, but no, he's a quarter, it, barely a quarter white. Nice try, Brian. Um, oh. So she was she's mixed race Eurasian woman who was the mistress of. Ho Kong Kong, so it says, a prominent businessman. Was, was her mother was Dude, Chinese. check this out. Who had twelve wives, mm -hmm. reportedly more than thirty children. It's a lot. Some people like to get down. Wow. Wow. The the ethnicity of Grace Ho's parents is somewhat uncertain. Grace Ho's father was raised as the son of a Dutch Jew. Charles oh, the most popular uh, take is that Grace Ho's father was German and her mother was Chinese. That there makes sense. Go. So he's right. Twenty five percent white. Yeah, mm. or just a certain percentage. Either way, it's it is crazy. He's not one hundred percent Chinese. Yeah. I, I thought he was you know who else. You know who else super famous singer was that way. Chuck Norris. No, nope. singer Bubba. Chuck Norris had some good. No, he albums. can sing. He had great albums. He has albums. He's done songs. Has he? Yeah. Don't try to double down and back. Dude, look. Type in Chuck Norris. Singer. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Do it, Chuck Norris. Singing. Do you know what? Singer? Bang slappers. What singer? Famous singer. Isn't Chinese. No, who, who is, uh, well, okay, it's better. He's black, he's black, but he's not. But he's half, he's half black. Famous. What What age? Uh, he's dead, he's dead. And he's a singer? And he's not from this country. Famous, famous black singer. Bob Marley. Yeah. Bob Marley's dad was white. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. What's up now? Claim him. Right? <laughs> Bruce Lee, check. Bob Marley, and what's check. funny about Obama is he was raised by his white mother and white grandmother. In Hawaii. He never really knew his, his dad. His dad was Kenyan. Interesting. Weird. His dad left the house? That's, man. Well, I think he, his, I don't think they were ever married. Weird. I think his mom but he grew up in, fatherless? Yes. In Chicago? In, I think it was Hawaii, Brendan. I'm not. No, he, I, he was born in Hawaii and then came to Chicago. I'm just saying it's weird that the dad left in Chicago. His dad's Kenyan. Yeah, I know. And I think what happened was they had a like a uh, they a hooked brief up in affair. they hooked up in Hawaii. Yeah, maybe out Hawaii or maybe Mai Tais. Maybe even Kenya. I think he was born in Kenya. Or, no, or he's born, born in Hawaii. Hawaii. Born, Hawaii, born Hawaii. Hawaii. <clears throat> nice try, Trump. Born in Hawaii. <laughs> moved to Chicago. <clears throat> yeah. So Holy Chuck shit! Norris, yeah. Eyes of a Ranger, sung by Chuck Norris. I told you, dude. Dude. Huge Chuck Norris fan. Wow. Slappers. <sighs> That's great. Chuck Norris still alive. It's got to be eighty. Black belt in jujitsu. Eighty. Yeah, he's more legit than Probably Steven Seagal, John Claude Van Damme. Like eighty four. God, he looks good. Wow, he had the eye surgery. He had what I had, dude. But what they do is work, though. They 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 <laughs> they raise your eyebrows. They, they you get a facelift. Look. Yeah, you should have done that. And you get your eyes. You no, because then I'd look like this. Dude, you and I would him look like, like that. You can't be old and have eyes that look young. I'll never do that. I'm Chuck Lo <laughs> you know, but I don't want my eyes to be too open. Dude, you know how much better Chuck Norris looks than you? No, come at on. At 84? Cool. Look at that hair. You guys look very you guys look similar in the you face. You can't be a guy with that. That's a toupee. That doesn't look good. I don't is that a toupee? Yeah, it is. It's a disaster. Don't do that. It's a really good toupee, if that is. Dude, do you have any idea how much better he looks than you? No, come on, be cool, man. Is that him right now, though, Chin? Probably. That that's not him at eighty four, yeah, is it? Yeah, it is. Chuck Norris currently Lucky picture. You, I think he has an Instagram. Yeah, there he is. Oh, go to his Instagram. Oh, we can see him right here, though. But uh, yeah, he we'll looks great. Instagram. He's eighty four. He looks. Let's fantastic. go to his gram. Yeah, there he is. He's awesome. Hey, eighty four. You know, I'm eighty four today. Jake Paul's next victim. I feel like I'm forty eight. <laughs> he says at eighty four. Come get some, Callan. Piece of shit. But I feel like I'm 48. <laughs> Wait, when was? Does he have the same birthday as me? March 10th. This came out. Oh, so. we're Pisces bros. I'm me and Chuck 84. Norris. <laughs> Holy crap! 
How he looks awesome. he looks good. He's fantastic. Um, now, if you want Jake to get hate, if he knocks out Mike Tyson and calls out Chuck Norris, <laughs> if he knocked out Chuck Norris, an American icon, bro, you knock out Chucky Norris, you get more hate knocking out Chuck Norris than you would Mike Tyson. Yeah, uh, for people sure. would jump in the ring. <laughs> for America sure. would jump I would, in the ring. I would storm it of like it was the Capitol. Of yes. course you would. You would you fight that. Jake? Yeah, I'd fight Jake. Even though he's my boy, I'd fight him. For uh, how much money? 10 mil. 10 mil? 5 mil. He's not going to fight you. You're way too big. Yeah, I'm too. I, those, like, people have asked, like, when I was at Gamebred, some of the reporters asked me, those super, like, boxing fights they're doing, it sucks I'm so big. Like, yeah. the Maswell, the Nate, no, Jake, Logan. No like, way. name any of the big influencers. I'm No one's going to fight a heavyweight. No. Not you. No. Too it's not, <laughs> not with, him, too with my back. It's not happening. No. It's a shame. Yeah. I, yeah, you you know, do it. For the, I yeah, would love for the right to person, see that fight. I would do it. It wouldn't happen. It's a, you can't fight. I'm too big. He's too big. He hit, hits too hard. That's the bummer. There's like if there's an influence. Big like meaning a, tall or too weight, strong, I'm, too, I'm too 240. Big. Like Jake's not finding me at 240. No. What is he? What is Jake? He's 200 matter. on a good day with yeah. shoes and boots on. But also, no, 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 no. And also, it I would just, do it. I'd find also, my 220. It's hard to hurt when you have gloves on. It's hard to hurt a guy that big. I mean, you can hurt him, but it's like, you, you can kind of like, it's just too much. It's too much weight. Like, you, I, I can't jump right into away. the sweepstakes because I'm too, they, they don't yeah. fuck with heavyweights. They don't, it's a they don't want that. I mean, it, maybe if you're a little older, but even then, I don't know. Right now, you're too young. 40, 41 is. 41? Because you could get right back into shape. and. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm my fight weight right now. I'm 238. Yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't be good. Yeah, you can't. It's a bummer, huh? You can't, and I'm in the conversations. No. Be fun. Yeah. A lot of money. Yeah, correct. And right. just boxing? I mean, I prefer MMA, but. No, I mean, nobody's going to fight you. Not, you know. not, not, not with your jujitsu. It's just too much. No, I can't do anything. I'm too big. Yeah. I'm, I'm not in the sweepstakes. Yeah. It's fat shaming, you ask me. I think it's fat shaming. I'm the Lizzo it's, of. You're just a big bone kid. <laughs> you're a big bone I'm the boy. Lizzo of fighting. Yeah. So, guys. Um, now, when I'm on stage, I wear these these new long sleeve athletic shirts from True Classic. I mean, I'm wearing it right now. I have my True Classic sweatshirt here. I'm literally this is all I wear. The only thing I don't wear, the only thing I don't wear that's True Classic is sometimes the jeans because I got some Levi's. Other than that, this is what I wear all the time. It's just the the quality is too good. It fits too well. It, it holds up in the wash, and they're just the best. So for a limited time only, you can get 25% off when you shop now. Just go to trueclassic.com slash fighter, okay? All shirts are made to accentuate the places the eye goes first. That's what the genius of it is. Tighter in the arms and chest, but with the perfect amount of room in your midsection. So you don't have to walk around sucking your stomach in when you got a fupa, Okay. And the best part is that True Classic sells their premium products in packs to help you save. So get started. Try their two or three packs, uh, pack of t-shirts today and feel the difference for yourself. Look at the difference. See the difference. It's crazy. I mean, it really is. It's all I wear. They got everything. Oxford button-ups. They got cotton crew sweaters. They got uh, knit polo, polos. It's, it's just unbelievable, whatever they have. And the price is right. So if you're ready to upgrade your closet, shop now. Go to trueclassic.com slash fighter. Save up to 25% off your first order. Get the underwear, by the way. I never, that's all, that's all I wear. I have them on right now. I'm, I, I, I know that I'm always in my underwear in those. If I lose my pants in a fight, I will have my True Classic underwear on because I love the way they feel and, and they, they hold up. So um, either way, 2024, make it your most comfortable year yet with True Classic. That's trueclassic.com slash fighter. Um, what else you got, Chin? What else you got, buddy? Anything else? I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Saw me have a birthday. Um, I've just been, uh, I'm, a, I'm a chef now. and uh, yeah, I know. And That's how I know you're getting older. And oh, Bossy started playing baseball. Yep. I had a good time in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I love Tulsa Oklahoma. Is, yeah, Tulsa is, like I was expecting it to be whatever. And Oklahoma's dope. Tulsa's a major city. Some of the city. best Mexican food I've ever had in my life. It's a place well, called Bramble. Yeah, they have great steakhouses out there. Though. When you go to Oklahoma, you want steak, dude. Well, another sign you're gay. Well, yeah, I didn't have any steak, and I don't drink. Oklahoma has great steak. Yeah, but really good coffee shops. It's like anywhere else. It's like you got your little pockets of hip hipness. Yep. You know, just little patches of hipness. Yeah, I'm I'm full blown Tony Lasorda baseball dad. 
Yeah, you Practice are. Tommy. Non. Tom, Tommy? Didn't Tommy your son was, play no, at Tony's seven? Didn't brother. your son play with a bunch of 10-year-olds? <laughs> On Sunday night, yeah. Uh, it was St. Patty's Day, like, baseball celeb like game. Wow. Like, some weird game, yeah. Played with 10-year-olds. How'd Boston do? Boston had some bombers. The thing is, you forget how young he is, because... Because they want to start him at wee ball, right? He's so small. He's so little. You know, he's big for his age, but he's yeah, he just so turned four. Olds, he just turned four. Oh, Boston! Oh. This is Boston. He just turned <laughs> four, and they're like, "Oh, well, we don't allow four year olds to play in t ball. They're like, you got to play wee ball." I'm like, "What the fuck's wee ball?" They're like, parents are on the field. I'm like, mm -mm. "I'm not even." Bra I know. I'm sure a ton of dads say this. I'm telling you, he can play t ball. Like, it's not what we do. So we go to the first practice at Wee Ball, and we're getting there, and like, all right, all the dads come out, and Bossy's like, he's been dying to play baseball like his brother, dying. So they're like, all right, this is a ball, this is a glove, and he looks at me, I'm like, just be patient, dude. And like, all right, now you're gonna take this ball, you're gonna try and throw it in your dad's glove. I'm like, oh no, they have no idea. Because oh, he's so, been doing this, Bubba. He and ten thousand hours. He comes with me and Tiger nonstop. Oh. He's always with us. That's all he does. All he cares about is baseball. He's obsessed with it more so than Tiger. So he's been swinging, throwing, you know, since Tiger started. So they're like, this is a ball, throwing your dad's glove. And the kids are kind of like, uh-uh, Bosti. Flap! And they coach you, Jesus. I'm like, I'm, I told you, man, the kid's not your normal. I know dad say this. I'm I'll stay here if you want. And like, we'll figure it out next day. Uh, we got my T-ball team. So he started his first game last week. And I forget how young he is because I coach him and talk to him like Tiger. Tiger's older, you know. He's four. And he doesn't, he's never had nerves or anxiety. And he, I was like, T, I was like, boss, he, he's in his uniform. I'm like, all your friends are going to be there, your family. And I can, and then it hit me. I'm like, oh, he's never dealt with nerves. He was like excited, but he's nervous. So he starts crying. Aww. And I'm like, what are you, we're on the field. I'm like, what are you doing? There's no baseball and crying. What are you doing, dude? There's no crying in baseball. What are we doing here? I'm like, you, I thought you wanted to play this. And the coach was like, dad, I got this. He's like, every kid we've had, and he's young than all these yeah. other, every kid we've had cries the first day because they don't have to do with anxiety yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, butterflies. Yeah. It's not normal to them. No. So yeah, but but once he got out there, he was good. Yeah. He was good. He's got it. You know, anything new like that is overwhelming. Yeah, he's good now. It's so cool. And then he's like, dad, because he just wants to be part and of the And Tiger team. just loves it. Yeah, monster. Monster. Yeah. We'll see. But once he was with his team, he's like, dad, he kept looking at me, look at my teammates. Mm. I'm like, I know you're on a team, bud. He's like, my teammates. So hilarious. So cute. I just love it. It's oh, like baseball. It's a grind, but it's the absolute best. That's my absolute favorite. best. My favorite. Hopefully my daughter's a big lesbian play softball. So I can run it back. <laughs> right back. How's she doing? But Brenda. What? How's she doing? She's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your boys are beasts. What do you got, Jen? Yeah, Tiger, we took that birthday picture yesterday. He's almost as tall as Joanna now. <laughs> God damn. Mm -hmm. He's a big boy. Big big kid. What do you got, Jen? Here we go. First one. First one we got for you guys. Uh, oh, so this is great. <laughs> Grady Dick, Anthony Black, both NBA rookies, lottery picks last year. Black Dick. Doing NBA traditions and exchanging down, their I jerseys. Did. Wait. And after they exchanged uh -huh. their jerseys. Oh, no. The Magic realized, ah, this picture probably isn't that great. Oh, my God. Either, even if it was Dick Black or Black Dick, it's fantastic. That's fucking great, Black Dick. Do you think they knew what they were doing? No. Uh, probably didn't think of it. No, they, I but bet the they didn't think of it. That's what makes it great. Yeah. Somebody had to know. I, I'm pretty sure. After the fact. I'm and then sure. they're like, fuck it. These are our names. Let's post it. That's great. They're, they know what's <laughs> Yeah. That's hilarious. Look, God, why Maybe they did. Maybe they're in on it, and they're not even friends. And just like let's switch, let's do. If you watch the actual video, oh really? You can kind of tell that that's hilarious. They know. Yeah. That's hilarious. Are you gonna get Boston to play football too? Oh yeah, <clears throat> that's yeah. that's what he's baseball, football, the power sports, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. basketball. Probably. And there's no um, Mexicans in the NBA. So this year at the Olympics, sex is not prohibited. If you remember, last time we had the Olympics because of COVID and everything, there was like a no oh, sex policy. There's apparently but, a lot of sex that goes on in that. Well, village. yeah, oh, but Olympic why? Because you have super athletes that are just trying to plant their seeds. Like, I, let them go. Let's create some super. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Let, let them go. Let them create some super babies. Yeah, they're stocking Olympic Eric. Village with three hundred thousand condoms. That might not be enough. <laughs> That might not be enough. Yeah. Come on in, big dog. Hey, Eric. Eric Griffin. Yeah. You know Surprise Delia's going to be late? Reason. Oh, yeah? Uh, I'm just Have assuming. Seat, bro. When's the last time you saw him on time? I don't know. The, li just, the Olympics the lifted Olympics. the sex ban. So there's a lot of sex in the... So you know, the Olymp at the Olympics, all the athletes stay, except for the NBA athletes, all the athletes stay in the Olympic Village. Right. Did you and do any the Olympic stuff? Hmm? Did you do any Olympic stuff? Mm-mm. Okay. Well, 
Okay, but so they they put them there and they give them three thousand three hundred thousand condoms and all they all these super athletes do is fuck each other. Yeah, makes sense. Create I'd love to be a fly athlete. on that wall. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, it depends. You yeah, it depends if the you shot put guy yeah, comes. Yeah, exactly. Like, what I was thinking, like, you don't yeah. want the shot put guys. To be yeah, that, that's a little much. That's a little much. Yeah, yeah. You want the bobsled girls? Yeah. Have you ever seen Jake's girls? No, the, the vol- gymnasts. The volleyball. Although the gymnasts are too young. No, no, not the gymnasts. They're no, no, too no. young. Yeah, that's true. You want like uh, the gymnasts? What are you, the USC doctor? Yeah, I just realized it's there. Some of those girls are like. Yeah, cut that part out. Yeah. <laughs> well, out no, of I mean, all the if sports, they were twenty-three. That's they're also four eleven. That's what I mean. All the athletes, the gymnasts. Well, yeah. if they're in their 20s, that's kind of hot. No, Some they're those, tiny. Have you seen the, uh, I don't know, 5'4", five, 5'3"? Five, oh, tiny B. Yeah. They're the shortest athletes on the planet. All right. 300,000 like condoms. Like, who are, the hottest, uh, like, who are the hottest athletes then? Runners? Volleyball players. Sprinters? No, no. So tall. No, no. Look, I think Jake's girl's an Olympian. Jane, bring her up. Jake. No, dude. Jake Paul's girlfriend is an Olympian bobsledder. Or like, she does something. Look up does. any volleyball. I'm volleyball you just know what? ass for days the broad no, jumpers no, no, long. oh right no now. that's your style you like them long and flat asses dude no 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 volleyball player have you ever seen volleyball players with sure, flat asses sure. they have to do all that squatting they're also 6'8 oh though God, yeah. no they're not look at look at his girl she, I think she skater. does something what she she's a speed, speed skater? skater lord okay yeah but, but no you need to look at her haunches like those you look at her haunches her legs and ass go to her Instagram there's nothing like those speed skaters. There's nothing like okay, it. Okay, now well, now can we... Well, what are we oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, what are you saying about volleyball? She's a unicorn. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm telling you, most of the speed Look skaters are... Look at the volleyball. Get a volleyball. Put in a USA Olympic volleyball team. Yeah. Look at these giraffes. Go ahead. Oh, That's my insane God. right there. Yeah, they're too tall. They're too tall they're for me, but that is, that is that, insane. That that's speed? No, no, that's insane. That's insane. That's not too tall. That's yeah, but when you're, like the, I say, when you're the top no, five most famous people on earth, yeah. she her, look at her, look at her, look at her. Go, look, wait, wait, go, go down. No, go, oh, what, this. no she's so hot. No. Go over that picture where she's zipping her thing up. Look at how beautiful she is. That's, yeah, well, she's I'm just saying, a unicorn. She's a unicorn, dude. Come on, zipping her thing up right there. Right here? Yeah. I mean, I mean, are you kidding me right now? What are we doing? She's not gonna be able to do speed. She don't have the equilibrium to do speed skating. I mean, and she's you know and saying? she's a freaking Olympian. She's gonna yeah. go this way, and the titties like, are going. I mean, <laughs> think how much money she's probably making just if she's had OnlyFans. No, no but, they, no, but, no, but, no, uh, but no, no, no. But these like athletes, man. Yeah. Those nil deals and stuff. W- women make more money. Yeah. Than any of them. Yeah, that, that, that the highest gymnast. one's that Caitlin, right? You know, it's like, there's like in the top ten of like college athletes, for instance. It's all. Chicks. I think it's it's all women except for like Dion's kid, LeBron's son, and then like the the, the, the USC, uh, you know, you know, yeah, what I mean? Caleb Williams. But but other than that, it's like a lot of these women are making so much money. Let me see the U.S. Olympic team. It's taking a little to load. Well, this doesn't. Look yeah, they're that they're great. they're Laura. They're very big girls. If you if you like a very big girl, I'm too light in the ass for all of those women. I, I admire. They're them. pretty. They're just t- tall. Yeah, not my speed. Them. They're awesome, but you're not. You're not big into the tall, right? B? Dude, some of them. Like, go ahead, Eric. Go no, ahead. no, no, no. You picked one. <laughs> no, go ahead. No, no, show more speed skaters, and let's see if they all look like that girl. <laughs> well, you're a big guy. <laughs> no, what? Do you, I, just, <sighs> I mean, you know what I mean. Though, but you're a big guy. So, so is he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but you're not afraid of a his tall. His wife woman. is like three feet shorter than him, so he likes, you know, compact. Yeah, but you you like compact. But you curves. you got no problem. Yeah, you got no problem with a tall woman who's, who's yeah yeah, awesome. yeah yeah. But after the pregnancy, Rachel was curvy as hell. Now, <laughs> yeah, that's she what happened. Great. <laughs> she looks great. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying there there are listen in every of the all the women's sports. There's like a handful of ones on even the sports that you think. Well, wow, most of them. There's some basketball players that are like Bad. dope. Yeah, pole vaulters, pole vo- tennis volleyball, Pro- not really. tennis. Yeah, some of the well, tennis is notor- the tennis. Tennis is notoriously like the most beautiful woman who can't get ranked. It's not, number, it's but, not as good in tennis, but they rank her like number ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 She what was all that one girl? What was that? Remember Sharapova. that one famous? Yeah, yeah, Sharapova, Sharapova was like yeah, yeah. garbage tennis player for years. No, no, Maria Sharapova was a champion. It was the it was oh, oh and and that's the one. Cool, but, Sharapova <laughs> was a beast. She was six two though. I know. Sharapova, no, yeah, but and she looked like gorgeous. You ever see her? She was cool. No, she's cool. Maria Sharapova? She's cool. Hey, I need you to come down. Hey, if she Baba? wasn't a world class tennis player, you wouldn't look twice. Baba, no, you would. <laughs> no, no. Now she's six two. Bring her up, Chen. No, <laughs> but compared to Kornikova, <laughs> she's gorgeous. That's don't really, don't go the modeling pick where no, they. No, Baba, that's what she looks like. I'm telling you, she's. Beautiful. Go to her playing. Look at her there. Go she's to her gorgeous. playing, Baba. I'm telling you, right yeah. there. 
No, go the one, go the top, the first one, chin right there. Well, don't get. I mean, don't get her there, it's dude. An action shot. That's an act. Yeah. That's what she looks no, like. No, get her right there, right there. Look at her. Just, dude, she, if you, you slow mo anybody running, yeah. they're gonna be like, Baba, look not her. Jake's girl. <laughs> Baba, put some respect on her face and name. No, right she's now. cool. You hey, bro, you can't use she's Jake's gorgeous. girl as the she's as an Olympian the, as the standard. Chin, go to go to uh, Anna girls a whole different level. Thank you. But this girl, this girl, she's not even gonna be doing this for much longer. She's so fine. I know. Correct. She was ridiculous. Like, that's that's, that's uh, Enrique Iglesias. She dated Enrique Iglesias. Yes. All right. I mean, she yeah. wasn't my wasn't as much my type. Yeah, yeah. She have I don't a like. I don't like that one where she looks a little Amy Schumerish. Wait, this what? is what Amy Schumer thinks she looks like. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is Amy Schumer on Ozempic. <laughs> like, uh, right? That's like a Amy Schumer bit. like looks at herself like, "Ooh, this is what I look like." <laughs> uh, that's so funny, dude. She was she was so popular. Like she's on the front cover of the video game. The guy, the two guys, that's Pete Sampras and Homeboy in the back, both world champions. She's on the cover? By yeah, the way, hilarious. I would like that's to hilarious. see Jake's girl. See, okay, the Olympic, when you're skating, the whole thing is presentation. So they always, oh, you know what I mean? Ice skater, some of them are. Yeah, but she's speed different. She's speed skater. Okay, yeah. but so I, I would like helmet. to see her, like, can you see an they action like shot of her? Like, Frozo. You know what I mean? No makeup on because these no, pictures you saw. No, she's wearing makeup, but she has the glasses and the hood. Thing she has the whole shit. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dynamic. She's, she's she's some of those runners. There are a couple sprinters. There's like oh, you know who's good? Bro, the ski, the snow, the, the Winter Olympics. Yeah, yes. yeah Winter yeah. pops. But yeah, the, the, the sprinters will break your. I mean, some of those girls are g -g 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 gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, but you know what though? I don't know about you, but like Wait, I don't why? like. I don't like. This is just me. I don't like when, you know, like when they have like like softball <laughs> girls. You know those ones where they just like, they, they big up they have, the, they have the Dwight Howard shoulder? Yeah, yeah dude. No. <laughs> See, I do. That's not for me. See, I, you? I like a muscular Oh, girl. you know, it's no, no, no it's yes, yeah. your preference, but I, I just don't like that. Like Brian no, Sakari. When, when, they can't, when, they can't turn, when they can't turn, when they can't turn without going dude. like this, you know what I mean? Wait, bring up Sakari. Brian goes, dude, I like the big bulky shoulders. <laughs> I like traps. I like a thick neck. I like neck. a beard. I like, I like a big dick. Adam's apple. You know what I mean? Big and <laughs> Maria Sakari. Maria Sakari. He calls it a peach. K -K -A -R -I. He goes. He goes. Adam's peach. S A. Oh, K K I. There she is. She's so cute. Greek. <laughs> that's the first oh, one. That's I not a good that. picture. Uh, oh no, dude. That's. But not she's got good. shoulders. She's got shoulders. Yeah. She's got a. All right, well. That's not good, man. <laughs> That's not good. This man. one's not good. Ask, ask Chris. Hey, don't act ask like Chris. Chris. That girl like actually you're, looks like don't act Chris like you're was a woman. Now. Just sit down. <laughs> you sit down. Okay. Sit down, man. What, what? There's no mic there, though. But okay. I'll give you mic. They can share. No. Dude, yeah. Why? Hey, Chris. Bri Brian's telling us how hot this girl is. Why are you guys here? What? Because you were late. Because we're doing fighter and the not kid. Late. It's eleven. Yeah, we're doing fighter and the kid. If I'm you're on what? time, you're late. It's eleven oh four. Why? What's up with you? You all right, bro? Yeah, you seem like you're in one of your moods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I believe you. What's, what's wrong with you, man? What's happening? I'm good. You had a case right. of the you had the is case there, of the, is there the Mondays. You want to talk about? Maybe I can help you. I got a case of the Mondays. Maybe I can. I don't have I'm, a case. I'm well, a good guy to talk Tuesday. to. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's a case of the Mondays on a Tuesday. Here we go. Everybody. Is there anything you want to share with me? I can help you. I, well, what, I, is, what are you guys talking about? Oh, we're talking about hot female athletes, Olympians. What sport would you say has and the I, best? And I said the speed women? skaters. Yeah. Oh yeah, pretty good. Um, Brian started off with baseball the gymnast. Well, probably not. I don't. I don't know if women play baseball. Dude. Soft? No, you mean football. softball? No, no, they don't play Actually, football flag either. Football. Look, pull up flag football. Not in the Olympics though. <laughs> yeah, it's an Olympic sport. Now. Fuck off. F women's flag football is an Olympic. That's sport the most now. annoying thing I've ever heard. It's and MMA's not. That's better than the where you ski and you shoot. To, it's oh, the this, what they call that? Skeet. Know? That's uh, skeeting on the face. Like, it's no, it's called it's called skeet. Yeah, something like that. Now you look up uh, flag, women's flag football. There's some. You know whose daughters are dope? Steve Young. They're gonna be like they're real great athletes. Really? Yeah. Look up Steve Young's daughters. But what do they do? What do you do with it? Flag football. I know, but how do you make? How do you monetize? Well, it? they're they're about to do. Maybe if they work hard enough, they can get this into is gonna NFL. Be, this is gonna be a thing. <laughs> I know, Chris. That's oh, not equality. I'm about equality, so I know, but not for the NFL. But NFL, yeah, they, 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 but they're not good enough to make it there. Steve Young's daughters, yeah, you Could don't be. even know who they are. Do you know? Holy their names? shit, there's no, men. But, uh, yeah, it's a big they thing. Play for like the Raiders or something. Oh God, no, man. Look, flag football is coming to the Olympics. It's going to be a that's thing. so annoying. Well, man, they don't even do like the the the, the all star flag game football, for, but not the, the Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl is flag football. It's competition. Yeah, it's just like these weird drills. Uh, that's how it should be. No, no, it's flag NFL football. should they be play flag, flag football. football. They also do uh, like weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
They don't want people to get hurt. Chris, yeah, Chris seems off today, right? Dude, yeah. uh, you, you guys came like? at me. I, yeah, you're I'm off. just chilling. No, I'm not. Just say you're off. It's okay. But I'm not. I would say if I was, but I'm not, though. You so sad. you guys hey, fucked up. You, you guys fucked up. You guys sad protest panda. too much. Are you, uh, so when you wake up, what do you say? Do you say time to take the world by the balls? Like, oh, dude, I started doing this new thing where I think of three things I'm grateful Talking for. Talking to the mic. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't want to steal it from him. Oh, you, you, do, you do you three, do all the you time. Get, it's double. It's double mic. We're double micing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Things that you Thanks, so Jim. you do a what? <laughs> wait, wait. Give us some advice. What do you do? You wake. I don't up? have any advice for you, dude. I don't have any advice. But you wake up and you do what? Think of three things I'm grateful for. That's well, good. what were the good. three That's today? Today, today. Eric Griffin, Brian Callen, Eric Griffin, and Brendan Shaw. Shaw. There you go, today. baby. Today. today. There you Yesterday go. was chin chin chin. Oh, thanks. Really? Guys. Yeah, chin chin chin. The restaurant. No. That's oh Chin Chin. Right. What car did you drive here in? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, just answer. <laughs> just answer. It, yeah, it's a what? mystery, right? Because you don't know which one. I, I, oh. I know. Just answer the okay. question, man. This is a red interior. Guess. The Mercedes. It's the, the Mercedes. Yeah. All right. Oh, all right. This is disgusting. This all is right. disgusting. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Well, that was fun, guys. Beach and pull-ups. That was a fun little time. No, no. Yeah. <laughs>